When I started with MOSPEC imaging, the machines were slow, low resolution, both spatially and spectrally, and all of that has changed now. Microgrid is the latest addition to our toolbox. A lot of the work that we do here at uh, M4I, we are developing various different mass spectrometry-based molecular imaging tools with a strong emphasis on MALDI for clinical translation. The role that um, the Timstof Flex plays in our endeavors towards personalized medicine are that it actually hits the sweet spot of what we need for our clinical translation. With MALDI 2, we have enhanced sensitivity, and the enhanced sensitivity translates into smaller pixels as well, so our spatial resolution is better. The throughput allows us to do larger clinical cohorts. The addition of eye mobility gives us the tools to structurally separate our molecules and actually be more precise in our identification and separation of the molecules that occupy a single pixel. So, in short, it's really the sweet spot where all analytical features come together with the clinical needs and the clinical needs translate into our research need for uh, digital pathology. Microgrid actually helps us to get stable, high quality images at five micron resolution. And that helps us to get single cell metabolic profiles. If you can get single cell metabolic profiles, you can think about building a database of cultured cells that don't interact with other cells in their environment. And then using that knowledge and all of these metabolic profiles of immune cells or muscle cells or cancer cells, using them while you are acquiring an image of a very complex tissue where you look at an individual cell in the context of the disease. These high resolution single cell profiles help you to understand better how a cell responds to a changing environment. In other words, high resolution imaging helps you contextualize the role of individual cells in disease. Right now we're working with our pathology colleagues and with our surgery, surgical colleagues to really translate these molecular phenotypes, these detailed molecular phenotypes that we can now get with the new instrumentation um, into a better understanding of the fundamentals of disease and using those insights in research to actually improve patient care. And then you can think of the translation into personalized or P4 medicine and that for me has always been a driver. Um, if you can make diagnostics and make molecular insights related to one single individual and actually use that molecular information to optimize and personalize therapy that will improve the outcome of the patients that we treat here in the Maastricht Hospital. So that is very much a strong focus of our efforts at the moment and MALDI imaging mass spectrometry actually plays a huge role in that.